thank you for stopping to watch my video. I want to teach this to as many U.S. business owners, U.S. entrepreneurs, 1099 income earners, and also U.S. investors so they can save taxes. So few people have ever heard of the Spendthrift Trust. The Spendthrift Trust is legal. It's in the IRS Tax Code 643B. It's been in front of the U.S. Supreme Court on two separate occasions. Both times it's been favored. The Benson Financial Trust was written by Paul Benson, a Harvard Law professor who wrote the five different trusts 76 years ago and not a single trust has ever been audited. One trust was examined by a senior IRS agent in 2018. He went down to the, um, to the law offices in Texas. He spent five hours in the boardroom going over everything and then he signed off on it. There's a reason why this uh, the law firm can offer uh, or offers a free uh, service if you get questioned by the IRS because it never happens. So let's get into this. The Spendthrift Trust comes from England way back when King Henry VIII, uh, the famous king who chopped off his wife's heads, started the Church of England. He went to go tax the lords and ladies of England and they went further back to history to the Magna Carta and said, no, 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 King Henry VIII, you can't do this. It's contract law that came to the colonies while we were still part of England. The law firm I work on behalf of inherited a trust that turned 350 years old in 2023. It's gone through so many generations. Our current tax code or current tax laws went into effect February of 1913 and we're only supposed to be around for a few years. <laughs> now it's 111 years later. The only thing that's happened to the tax code is it's grown bigger, bigger and bigger. So the rich families of 1913, the Rockefellers, the DuPonts, the Carnegies, and the Kennedys made sure they could save taxes. Well, if they can save taxes, we should be able to save taxes. So this is why I do these lives. And then there's having some contests today or the, the next few days about getting roses and other things. I had to get TikTok swag. I don't know what that's all about, but I'll take TikTok swag. So the, Paul Benson, he wrote the uh, five different trusts and the two major trusts that I talk about are going to be the business trust that's for u.s business owners 1099 income owners and u.s entrepreneurs can't say that word u.s entrepreneurs to save at least 90 percent on their federal income taxes yearly and in 43 states no longer pay state income taxes if you're making at least eighty thousand dollars a year you are going to save at least four uh, four figures in taxes that's your money to pay off your mortgage buy a new car take your family on a vacation give to a charity, or save for retirement. My example today is one of my clients, he lives in Nevada, so he has no state income taxes. He is an independent semi-truck driver. His tax rate's at 35%. There's seven different tax rates from 10% to 37%, so he's at the second highest tax rate. When he starts to spend through trust, he's going to save $55,030 every single year. He can use this money to buy his diesel fuel, pay off his mortgage, buy a new car, take his family on vacation, uh, give to a charity, or do whatever he likes with that. He has also uh, referred to me six other independent truck drivers. Because he's an affiliate of mine, he's getting paid when they buy the trust. So he's got a second stream of income coming through. If you want to find out more about the Spendthrift Trust, I have a free class out in the Great Discovery. It's my name, www sallygimmon.com. When you go out to the Great Discovery, you're going to get a 23-minute presentation. You're going to get three articles from Forbes magazine, two pages of case law, and a chart showing if you make $80,000 a year and you file single. There's four ways to file. Single, head of household, married jointly, married separately. Single is the most expensive fit way to file. How much you'll be saving in all 50 states. That's the business trust. The beneficial trust is for all investors. I don't care what kind of investing you're doing. You're going to save the following five taxes year after year, generation after generation. First off, capital gains. Short term, which is uh, between 10% to 37% and affect you if you're a Forex investor, if you're doing crypto investing, wholesaling, uh, fix and flipping, auction houses, or tax liens. Long term capital gains are a year or more and affect you if you are selling a business an investment property or selling a baseball card. You're going to save interest income taxes. This is for anyone who's a passive investor. Again, Forex investors, you get taxed twice, interest income and uh, capital gains. 
if you are doing, um, if you're a passive investor, if you're in mutual funds, if you're doing subject to real estate, the Burr strategy, I personally have notes, creative financing or seller financing. Again, 10% to 37%, depending on your tax brackets. Then you're going to save dividend income taxes. If you are in the stock market, if you are a day trader, if you are a commodities trader, if you are um, doing options trading, if you are doing dividend investing, if you're doing binary options trading or futures trading, again, you're going to be saving those taxes year after year, generation after generation. If you have dividend paying stocks, you get paid every quarter and you pay taxes between 10% to 37%, depending on your tax bracket, that you could be saving with the uh, Beneficial Spendthrift Trust. The fourth tax you're going to be saving with the Beneficial Spendthrift Trust is uh, rental income taxes. Yes, you can take depreciation. Yes, you can do cost averaging, but I wanted to uh, get through all this and I'll tell you uh, why you need this. So if you're doing Airbnb, if you're doing vacation rentals, if you're doing five doors, 10 doors, 20 doors, multifamily, if you have commercial property, or if you're doing arbitrage, you could be saving thousands of dollars. And the fifth way the beneficial trust saves you money is royalty income taxes. If you're an actor, an actress, an author, an artist, maybe you're in the NFT world, maybe you're a musician, you have copyrights or patents, you'll save royalty in, uh, royalties. Now it does not matter if you have the business trust, the beneficial trust, the senior trust, the um, charitable trust, or the, um, um, oh, I just forgot what it's going to be, natural rights trust, that natural uh, things. The four ways the trust is going to save you money. Number one, taxes year after year, generation after generation. Number two, keep your information completely private. There's a false rumor out there. If you have an LLC, your information is private. Mm, not true. I can go to the Secretary of State or the Corporation Commission and, and uh, research all the information and there's a re reason why 40% of all LLCs get sued every year. Yikes. Third way, talking about lawsuits. All lawsuits become frivolous because all your assets are in the trust. It's a titanium vault. And when they try to sue me personally, I'm worth nothing. And then the fourth way, you, uh, you're exempt with the Benson Financial Trust from doing the 2024 Corporate Transparency Act from the Treasury Department. If you do not have the trust, please do that paperwork. If you don't do the paperwork, you could be fined $10,000 and or two years in jail. Again, I'm inviting you to my free class online, www.sallygimmon.com for a 23 minute uh, presentation, uh, three articles from Forbes magazine, two pages of case law, and that chart to show you how much you could be saving. From there, you can set up an appointment with me and I'll also put in the notes on this of, uh, thing, uh, in, in notes on this um, presentation because I want to help as many U.S. business owners, U.S. entrepreneurs, U.S. 1099 income earners, and U.S. investors save as much money as they can in taxes. Thank you for watching. Thank you for listening to me. If I can help you save money, set up a 30-minute tax breakthrough session with me. I'm here to help. Take care and have a beautiful week. Bye-bye. I'm here to help. Take care and have a beautiful week. Bye-bye.